So big shout out to Thermo Fun, whose Honey Nougat Delight I'm making today. It's kind of got two sets of ingredients, one for the base and then one for the topping. So I didn't quite have all of the ingredients at home, so I'm just going to wing it a little bit and improvise. You need a baking tray and some paper. Then for the base, you need 200, ml, uh, 200 grams of chocolate, 200 grams of peanut butter, 180 grams of honey. I don't think I've got quite that much, but that's okay. Uh, peanut butter and honey kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh, 190 gram of oats, 60 grams of shredded coconut, 80 grams of walnuts and some vanilla extract, which I better get out of the cupboard. So that's our ingredients for the base. And then the topping also has 200 grams of milk chocolate. I actually didn't have that much left. So I've just got um, 100 grams of 75% dark chocolate. So I think that should be pretty nice. Some coconut oil, about 20 grams, and then some additional coconut to sprinkle on top. The ingredients list will be in uh, the comments section of the YouTube post, so you can check those out there. Well, so far we have 200 grams of milk chocolate that has been blitzed on speed 9 for 10 seconds. We also have 200 grams of peanut butter. I used crunchy peanut butter because there is no other type of peanut butter. And the recipe called for 180 grams of honey, but I only had about 120, so that's what we've got. Now we're going to put it on for three minutes, 90 degrees speed one. Then you want to add the oats, coconut, walnuts and vanilla essence. Mix for 30 seconds, speed four, on reverse. I'm going to get the next part of the recipe underway while I press the um, mixture into, firmly into the tin because I want to be able to shape it into those gorgeous little logs like summer rolls. So basically what we've got is 200 grams of milk chocolate. I'm using a mix of milk and dark just because I didn't have anything else and because that's blocks I'm just going to give it three seconds uh, speed nine now you want to add 20 grams of coconut oil and then you want to cook this mixture for five minutes 50 degrees speed one that's to melt the chocolate you then want to pour the chocolate mix on top of the base and sprinkle with a little bit of extra coconut. When all of that's done, I would highly recommend adding 200 ml of milk and heating to 80 degrees for a couple of minutes. And then you have a lovely little chocolatey hot chocolate on the side. Bit of a bonus. Put this in the fridge for an hour, then slice it after that. Okay, see ya. The finished product is very delicious, let me tell you. If you like the Three Mad Mixes videos, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our posts, follow us on Facebook, and maybe Instagram too. See you soon.